Here it is, guys. The Sony Xperia X-E2 versus the OnePlus 6. And the winner's video could just be the fastest phone in the world. Now, both these phones, amazing specs. Snap 245, 6 bytes RAM on the Sony. And 8 on the OnePlus. Now, the Sony is on be uh, beta software. It's on Android P beta. So, that could impact the results some. And the OP6, the first one to boot up. And the Sony taking a lot longer than it usually does to boot up. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright guys, let me take this chance to say, do not download the Android P Beta for the Sony Xperia X-E2. Um, it's very, very glitchy. Obviously, if you're like a developer and... Let's see what we got here. Okay, so some type of glitch there. But yeah, I mean, obviously, if you're a developer... Uh, and you have a real specific reason for downloading this beta, then do it, but otherwise it's definitely not worth it. So right now, let's see. Um, yeah, so like my background's gone. Let's see if there's any other glitches here. But I have come across a ton of glitches for it. And overall, I think the performance is just worse than it was on Android 8 Oreo. Let's see. Let me just show you guys an example of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up all the apps. All right, and real quick. Now it's loading up the uh, loading up the apps pretty decently, but let's see. In terms of like the multitasking, it's not that good. And also, if you do want to uninstall it, it's kind of a pain. Um, I was actually trying to factory reset this, but even if you do that, it's still going to be on Android P beta. So you have to flash your phone and go back to the Android 8 Oreo official update. Okay, so let me just show you guys some limits of it. Now, bringing up the camera app, as you guys see, very, very basic camera app, um, not, this, not the typical Sony camera. So yeah, it's slow, unresponsive if you go to the uh, video part. Shoot, forget, how do I get back over to that? Okay. So we don't have like super slow motion, none of that stuff is here. I mean, I really like the interface, but it's very, very glitchy. It's obviously a beta. And let me show you guys what I was talking about. Now, just about all these apps should retain in the memory. So that one does. That one did an okay job of it. But that one is restarting. So if you guys look back at all my speed tests, usually these apps, I mean that one too, usually these apps would not restart. And I don't know guys, I mean right now, yeah, see that one too. <laughs> so right now I'm, I'm filming a comparison between this and the OnePlus 6. Um, but I don't know guys, should I go back to the Android 8 Oreo update that was, you know, better optimized or would you guys be interested in seeing this? I mean, it's not terrible, just a few are restarting. That one too, though. See, that, that right there, that should not happen. But yeah, go back, watch any of the speed tests. Really, none of these apps will restart, aside from maybe one or two of them. So yeah guys, I mean, I'd say if you're interested in this beta, you know, if you're like a developer or if you have a real reason to be interested in it, then I'd say go ahead and download it. But otherwise, um, I would say definitely just skip out on this for now. And if you guys want to see all new features, you can check out my video, put it in the top right corner. But yeah guys, that aside, um, 
I might just go in and uninstall this and go back to Engine Oreo, but it's gonna be a bit of a hassle to do that. I mean, it, it is cool that Sony's giving us the opportunity to download this because not many companies are, but it's definitely, in my opinion, it's definitely a big downgrade in terms of performance. Alright guys, but anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the video. And yeah, let me know. Do you guys want to see a rematch on Android P or should I go back to Android Oreo for that?